Go. It's time to did it did it did it did it D and D. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back once again to Into the Little Town Does D and D. You are joined by me, the great Joe Jam, and the amazing wizard Gideon Morningwood. You are joined by the half elf Lyra. Hello. You are joined by <coughs> a bird, <laughs> and we are also joined by our amazing dungeon master, I'm the evil <laughs> mind of uh, Mr. Pidge. And um, we also have a uh, another another um, body in the room, uh, Mr. Uh, James. Hello. Another body. Another, another body. body. He takes us. Yes. So welcome back to D and D. It's been quite a while since we played. I think it's been two weeks. Um, oh, yeah. chicken really hot. So yeah, everyone's raring to go. Um, so last time our heroes got down to the archives and they had a battle with this oh, with, um, the, with the dark elf Cipher. Um, he kicked his ass! With him unable to use his magic powers, they defeat him relatively easily, actually. Yeah. A lot easier than I thought they would. <laughs> which, um, might which, which, I guess that's them's the games. So, um, yeah, after Lord Cypher was defeated, um, weakened, he disappears, leaving a bag behind that with the piece of the crown in. And then suddenly the, um, the sunken city starts to rumble and starts to crumble and and um, water starts to pour in all around them. Yeah. And they're like, holy shit, shit but how do we get out of here? And then Lyra notices that the, her bag of holding begins to glow. And she looks inside and her mother's necklace is glowing white. And the ghostly apparition of her mother appears oh. in front of them Mommy. and escorts them all out of the sunken city. Yes. So they get to the door of the sunken city where the submarine had initially crashed through to find that the city has been dredged from the bottom of the ocean. It's on the surface of the ocean now. And they step out into an open sunset. So it's like dusk, it's like 6, 7 p.m. Um, a few meters in the distance, you can see um, the Ashen Isle, the current new Ashen Isle. Um, and um, with a final whisper of find me, the apparition of Lyra's mother vanishes. Not quite as good as find me. Find me. I'm doing really the best I can with chicken in my mouth. <laughs> find me. This chicken's hairy. Make it girlier. Find me. <laughs> find me. Yeah, find me. Lyra. <laughs> so you step out into the you uh, blah, blah. you step out onto the island that has been dragged from the bottom of the ocean. Not more than a hundred feet away is the new Ashen Isle, picturesque against the, the setting sun. Um, can you eat chicken bones? So no, good. Um, no. well, technically you I can, can, but I wouldn't. Um, okay. Unless you're a troll. Um, <laughs> so so yeah. would you like some chicken? <laughs> Just maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're, you're all stood at the top of this dredged island. A hundred feet away from you is the, the Ashen Isle basically coming towards you. And you can see um, that a group of Pegasus Knights seems oh to be God, flying out to meet you. No, not. Do you want to do uh, anything? Uh, panic. <laughs> I think they're going to be really mad at us. Oh no, we were given permission, weren't yes, we? Yes, we were. Yeah, but not to raise the sunken depths of Yeah, well, how else are we supposed to get back? Um, so they're <laughs> heading to work, flapping towards us. They're flying towards you, yeah. Shall we wave to them? Oh, help! Um, SOS! SOS! <laughs> we're tired and hungry okay. and really wet and... Okay. I've got so, a gummy uh, leg! The knights the night approach and swoop down and land grace, gracefully in front of you. Um, the Pegasus um, captain, you know the one, the, 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 elf, the, elf, the elf that spoke to you before, the female one. Oh yes. She says, "Ah, I see you're alive then." <laughs> yeah, just yeah, a, just a bit. Just a little um, little bit. Come with us. The king seeks audience with you. I got to go to Pegasus. Yes, please. Yep, you yes. agree to go with you. Um, okay, we so. Say no. Like um. Each Pegasus kind of kneels down to let you get on. Um, Pegasus, um, Lyra goes behind one of the knights, Gideon with another. Um, two of the other knights, oh, um, Hannah with another as well. Two of the knights um, wrap a rope around Grumbug, and as they take off, he hangs between them. Um, <laughs> oh, Grumbug, no like swim! <laughs> no like swim. Excellent. <laughs> okay, so, it's, so it doesn't take long before you sail over the waters and land upon the Ashen Isle. Uh, behind you, as you're flying forward, you can see the old island once again begin to sink down into the darkness. Oh wow! I wonder if the phoenix is brought to the top. Of so the night swooping through the air. I want to change the music. The oh, night yes. swooping through the air land down at the Ashen Isle. We're walking in the air. Not quite so Christmassy. No, <laughs> no, no snowmen. No snowmen. <laughs> no flying. Oh my God! We do a Christmas special. Okay. Yes. It's summer. Everyone get in the mood and start. Okay. <laughs> Just for food. I know. Okay. Okay. So the knights drop you off. And then with a signal from the captain, they all fly off again. So you're stood 
in front of the, the door to the, the main building, basically. Um, you know the big, mm -hmm. huge domed, shell-like door. Two guards stand by the huge door, they open it as you land. And kind of point for you to enter. Excellent, well, enter. Right, you enter, you walk down the corridor with the red carpet into the throne room once again, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, two, guards, two guards escort you as you walk into the main room. Um, you hear the harp in the corner playing the long. Playing oh, is this the one that's just playing on its own? It just plays on its own, yeah. So if you remember, you're in a big square room. There's a there's a slight platform, like a few feet raised platform with a throne with terrestrials. Then there, there's the statues. <laughs> <laughs> before, I think. We there's statues all around them. the sides and stuff, yeah. Um, so terrestrial signals and the two guards bow and leave. Um, so yeah. So the king rises from his throne and walks over to meet you. Wait, what, he's actually coming over to meet us? Yep. Oh, wow. Shit, okay. bed. I have seen all that you have done in the lost city. Oh, balls! Oh, crap. oh shit! Oh, <laughs> I have seen you battle the demons that tormented my people. Yes. And I have seen you overcome the shadow of my former self. Yes. Indeed, the guardians were correct in trusting you. Excellent. I commend your efforts. Thank you. Even your troll friend here seems to have fought honorably. However, my gaze of you was blocked when you entered the archive. So, tell me, what happened down there? Oh shit. Um, yeah, okay, so did we- Did we, when before, did we tell him about Cypher? Did we tell him that a guy was coming to get him? Was uh, coming to- I think he did. I think yeah. we did too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, the great evil we spoke of, the evil Cypher. Cypher. Cypher! Cypher! Cypher. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was there, he had, a pe he had the crown piece. We battled him ferociously, and we won, but he escaped. But we have what we sought. We have a piece of the highborn crown. Thanks, Enzo, for what it's called. I thought you were the world's in your head moving. Yes. Ah, and the cypher. Was he slain? No, if you were listening, I just said. <laughs> nah. Previously harmed. We, um, kind of. we fucked him up pretty bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to a king. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we, okay. Yes, we, um, <clears throat> We battled him fiercely, and we grievously injured him. Alas, he escaped. However, I suspect he has a demon blade with him that gives him this tremendous power. Hmm. We were able to use, we, were, we, we, we witnessed his power firsthand. But thank you to the, thanks to the enchantments around the, what was it? The, the archive. The, thanks to the enchantments around the archive. The archive. Is, I can't it's the archive. Archive. The archive. Yeah, maybe the archive. <laughs> Thanks to the enchantments around the archive, we managed to nullify most of his powers. However, we did find that searing light damages the demon blade and causes it to Scream. spaz out. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Spaz out. I do not know. That, um, must be one of your human things. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems that the crown piece was meant to be with you. The guardians have assured me that you are indeed on an honourable path. Woo! I will leave the crown piece with you in hopes that the humans will defend it. And defend it well. We should just stick it in the bloody phoenix nest and burn it to death. It'll just solve all the problems. Yeah. Let's Can go. we have your phoenix just look after it? No, no, no. We no, no. can burn it. Now, it is late and you look weary. Oh, yes. I'm very tired and I'm very, very hurt. Well. <laughs> I'm, I'm hungry as well. I have organised the accommodation for the night. Oh, My maidens will take you to your Thank rooms. you so much. Um, six elven maids walk into the room Don't behind you. Get each, any ideas. Each dressed in a pure white, long flowing gown. Oh, giggity. Look at you. Um, ter Tereslon, um, just, um, as he goes and sits on his throne again, he says, We will meet again in the morning. For now, go and rest. Good night! Um, the, no. the, the maidens kind of circle you and begin to escort you out. It, it's like a feeling of like being on like a Greek paradise island. Yeah, yeah, it kind of does, yeah. So the maidens take you out, um, you walk down along the coast through the beautiful garden. Remember the gardens are all like these beautiful red cherry blossom style trees oh, that like, they like constantly like shit. Is Grumbug still with us? Yeah, Grumbug's sweet. you. They, didn't they, let, they wouldn't let him in before. They let him on out. Sweet. They constantly like shed petals off them. Oh, Hannah's with you as well. They constantly shed petals off them. There's like all these beautiful jade birds flying between all the trees and stuff. I don't remember. Can I talk to the the, the handmaid? Uh, sure. Yes, you can. Well, I haven't thought so. Uh, what what what's what we call handmaidens? Maidens. 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 My, uh, oh I god. Maidens. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna mention the one the one that just the one nearest maybe. My lady, my troll our, our troll friend Grumbug here um, requires alcohol. <laughs> He's um. He's quite a strange fellow. He needs lots of it. 
Could you make sure someone's brought up to him if that wouldn't be too much trouble? Um, she replies to you in Elvish and you don't understand. <laughs> Fuck! God fucking damn it. And then she smiles at you politely. <laughs> um, Anna, translate. <laughs> um, she she said that um, it, it's all accounted for. Basically. Oh, excellent! Thank you. So the ma- the maidens lead you. Oh, sorry, no, wait, sorry. Um, so you walk towards these beautiful gardens towards a large building. Um, it's kind of like this big, just just like a giant house with like loads and loads of rooms in, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of like a boarding school kind of house. Oh, nice. um, Elven children play outside in the oh. courtyard. Um, so, some of them are singing with like this beautiful angelic voice. Others are practicing combat with wooden staves. Um, and the maidens lead you into this building and um, assign each of you your own rooms. Oh, excellent. Sweet. Time to masturbate. Salad. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, okay, so and you went. To... Look at each other. I say shower. He says masturbate. Go on. I need to be clean. I need to be cleansed. <laughs> <laughs> I need to have my balls drained. No. Anyway, no. so your rooms are luxurious. There's a comfy feathered bed covered in silk sheets, and it's 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 kind of a privilege. It's something you've never been privileged before to like this kind of like luxurious room and you find it very hard to not just collapse on the bed basically because you've had a week of sleeping on dank cold stone floor of the sanctuary basically because you were down there for a week yes a week a week <laughs> jesus christ wow <laughs> staving off hunger <laughs> okay so the um the temptation to dive onto the bed and just drift off is almost overwhelming um the rest of the room is equally nice um there are intricately, there's an intricately carved chest in the corner for you to place all your belongings in if you need to. There's a small fireplace in the opposite corner, and there's long crimson red curtains lining beautiful carved the food. windows. Um, there's a small table by the side of your bed. Um, there is a meal of um, pheasant, Ew. with boiled vegetables, and a uh, cask of warm wine on each, in each of your rooms. No, 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 no. <laughs> so you all just eating up. Grumbug's room just got a barrel. <laughs> I know, yeah. Just a whole black bathtub of it. Gideon's just gonna. Um, you're all in your own rooms, by the way. Yeah, yeah I'll eat mine. Gideon's just gonna nom 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 nom. After, nom. after you eat, you feel really, really refreshed. Like it was probably the best meal you've ever had. And yeah. you're so full that you just lie on your bed and pass out. Yep. Sweet! Oh, it's, like, it's like Lord of the Rings when um, they all get back and like Frodo's all fucked and he falls asleep. Roddy said D6 plus 2. Oh, oh shit, sorry, Jimmy. Not your character. Three, four, five. D6 plus 2. 5, 6, 7. Gideon has 7. Five. Oh sorry. shit, I thought five. I'd get pens. Sweet as a cherry pie. I got them. Do we have pens? No pens! Yeah. I brought one. I have one. I don't yeah. know where it is. Two thumbs. I gave you a bitch. That's what I meant to get from the shop, isn't it, Pens? Mm. Sorry, we've got one. We well, we've got one. We'll manage. I've got seven, yeah? we we'll manage. Yep. Seven. Uh, do, do, I think we get full restored to full health. Um, you will use all the hunters as you had. You had none. Oh. So you don't heal anything. Um, you had seven, so you're... Maybe good. if you're having a slap, a slap bang meal yeah, with a nice heal. comfy sleep. You're healed to four. Can I borrow the pen of you? Um, let me just check the other characters. Actually, how much help was I on? You were on full. You didn't get hit once. Yeah, I was on full, didn't I? Wasn't I? Oh, that was fine. I'm not going to tip it over. Um, no, I have you oh, on. I have you on. I have you on twenty nine. All right. Oh yeah. Cool. And he has Gideon, zero. So. I have you on twenty nine. So you're on twenty nine. Ah, it's fine for now. Um, Grumbug, Grumbug heals. Grumbug heals. Six eight. Of eight. So eight. Grumbug's on thirty two. And how many healing surges does he have? Oh, for three. fuck's sake. Oh, three, uh, three or one? You guys two. Oh, right, okay, I was gonna say one. Oh my god. Can I roll for Hannah's? Oh, no, I'm not allowed. I'm not Hannah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Hannah, sorry. She has seven. Jeez. Also, prayers. Oh, and prayers as well. Oh, that. Oh, whatever. She has. Oh, 17. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. So, is that good? It was one. Oh. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. I just, oh, why am I changing the music? Mm. Okay, so shortly after dawn, you you dawned. Shortly after dawn, you are awakened by one of the handmaidens. Oh, hello. Hey, oh, hello, ladies. <laughs> she um she kind of points, it's like gestures to the door. Uh. Basically, oh. she's saying, "Get ready." Okay, <laughs> okay. Well, get ready. Uh, I'm gonna okay. step out of bed. Does Lord so, Rathlon want to see us? 
she not Australian at all? Uh, she does. Okay, yeah. So they can understand the common tongue. Yeah, they just can't speak it. Right. <laughs> um, so eventually you all gather outside in the courtyard where the children were playing before. There's none here before. Um, everybody roll a single d6. Okay. Two. Two. Four. Um, so um, Gideon and Lyra actually walk downstairs at the exact same moment. Hello. <laughs> just that Hello. Um, I had a lovely night's sleep on a slab of bread. It was delicious. I know, yes. What was your meal? Was it the side roasted pheasant? Warm wine bo- and boiled vegetables. Oh, it's tasty. It's, it's kind of fine. We're just communing. It's fine. It's fine. This, 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 this is what happens when Gideon right. has a good night's sleep at a meal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not a sleaze bag now. A few minutes later, a few minutes later, walking down the, um, the stairs, you hear the heavy <laughs> footprints. Where's that shake? Thunder tree. Oh, Grumble doesn't make thunder. Grumble's just. I know, but I like to use it. You hear? <laughs> Danger's coming. And, and oh no, it's Earth Gunner! As Grumbuck uh, clamps his way down the stairs towards you, he's scratching his head and goes, uh, Morning, guys. Good morning. Morning, Grumbug. Yes. Did they supply you with enough booze? Yes. I don't know about you, but that was terrible. Uh, <laughs> oh, you like the stronger stuff, eh, Grumbug? Yes. You're talking about the bed. <laughs> yes. Bed was comfy, food was small, wine was warm. These people don't know living if it hit them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it was rather nice Anyway, for me. Um, I think we should get out of here. Where's Hannah? Where's Hannah? Um, Hannah does not come down. What? Oh, she's going to stay, isn't she, I bet? Um, after, after, after your party's gathered together, um, two maidens come and. Wait, 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 Hannah. Can I go up and see if she's there? Uh, yeah, you can go see if she's there. I'm gonna go see if she's there. She's not there. Okay, right, following back down. I guess she's not here. <laughs> if she's gone wandering, I'll be kidnapped. Yeah, so the, the maidens are just back on for you to follow. Yeah? Yeah. Go on. No, no, I'm not gonna say it. Go on. Alright. I, I, I know been, what he's thinking. Let's bet she's go. being buggered by Lord Tarassel. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you were escorted back to the throne room. Along the w- along the way, you pass through, you pass through oh, the okay. gardens and Grumbug spends a lot longer complaining. Um, <laughs> Um, you go back to the Lord's Chamber, the maidens cur- curtsy to you before leaving. Um, as you enter the throne room, you see that a long dining table has been placed <coughs> in the centre of the room. Breakfast. Um, a breakfast banquet has been oh. Breakfast! Hannah is already there. Aha! Um, her tussled brown hair has been washed and braided and has elven beads in it. Hey. Um, her tattered robes are gone and she's wearing a long flowing white elven dress. And her face is lo- li- lit up with an infectious smile. Oh, she sits beside the Phoenix King. Oh, oh wow. Um, the king um, just calls towards you and says, Come, friends, sit. Okay. Just, just, thanks for the group. Uh, okay. You sit down. Uh, before you is a widespread of elven delicacies. There's um, sweet bread with jam and cream. This mm. kind of um, exotic tea poured out for you. There's bowls of food. Fruit, like fruit, all exotic that you couldn't possibly identify. Muesli, it's the, um, there's gotta be muesli. Yeah, there's a bit of muesli. Um, <laughs> Everywhere has muesli. Yeah. And um, yeah, there's all these bowls of fruit that you can't really work out what they are. Whatever they are, Hannah seems to have already quaffed down about six of the purple ones. Um, <laughs> <laughs> quaffed, what a word. So yeah, you're just sat at the table. Um, each eat in a way. You're all, you're all happy to eat? Mm. Oh, sweet. Yeah, um, Grumbug grabs the tray of scones for himself <laughs> <laughs> and slathers pretty much all the cream on the cl- just throws it on the plate and then Grumbug, can I have a scone? I guess I'll just, no! I guess I'll just have some. I'm just gonna take one. It's like <laughs> and he goes, everybody gets one. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm alright. So, um, can, can Lyra have one? No, I'm alright, I'll fruit. <laughs> um, the maidens come in and um, tidy up the plates. Uh, Grumbuck's still eating away the scones. One of the maidens goes to grab the plate and he just goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> and she backs and the, maid maiden, the maiden looks worried and walks off. Grumbuck, um, no gifts gone. <laughs> Tarasalon Tera- gives a little side smile at that. <laughs> so t- um, the, ta- the table's emptied, you're all full, full of breakfast. Mm, I'm, I've only oh, oh, just eaten and then realised and I'm already hungry again. Okay. Tarasalon goes, now, friends. I trust you had a pleasant rest. Oh, it was lovely. Very, 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 very lovely. That bed was the comfiest bed I ever slept on. And that mm-hmm. roasted pheasant was exquisite. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, you would expect nothing more of our elven hospitality. Of course. I've had a long discussion with uh, Hannah here. Mm-hmm. 
and she's decided to stay. Okay. I knew it. As an ambassador for the humans. Excellent. Oh. Don't don't worry. She will be taken very good care of. Oh, we're, we're fine, great. Hannah smiles widely. Oh. <laughs> GG Hannah. Oh. GG. GG Hannah. <laughs> GG. It would seem that your quest is not yet done. No. And though your foe is indeed weakened, it will not be long before <gasps> before he rises once more. I know not what has given the drow such power. It may be that blade you mentioned. But what his plans be- uh, I know not of his plans, but his allegiance with demons is nothing but a bad omen. You must find the other pieces of the crown before <laughs> him, or this may spe do spell doom for all the races. Oh, so no pressure. Yes, I agree. We already have three pieces. I have a question. I have a question. Do you know where the other pieces two. are? We've got two pieces. Yeah, has another. Yeah. Go on, ask him then. Ask Trasson. Oh my god, Trasson, do you know where- Lord Trasson, sorry. Do you know where we where the other pieces of the highborn crown reside? Yes, I only I only know of this given to my, given to given to me long ago by the celestial. Uh, right. Oh yeah, because he was alive, wasn't he? Yes. Okay. Um. Do you have any? You any... have the floating turtle island of knowledge. You don't know where the other ones are. <laughs> Do you have elven any... history. Yeah. Crap. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Lord Rassilon. Are you able to lend us any aid in defeating this menace, this demon friend man? Demon I thought, friend? I was going to think it's something fiend. awesome. He says, it's demonic fiend. He says, the, only, the only more aid I can give you is a swift return to where you uh, came yes, from. Please. Of course, time is of the essence. Yes, of course. Because it always is the end of the world thing. I have organised a passage for you back to the Your Human Lands. Thank you. I will leave you now to say goodbye to Hannah. Oh, Hannah! Your transport waits outside when you are ready. Um, Tarasalon gets up and leaves. I'm gonna run over and try. Goodbye, Tarasalon! Alaha, man! What? I'm just in this side, that's goodbye in Elvish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know Elvish! I've just decided. Tarras I've heard enough people speaking it. Tarasalon <laughs> smiles um, kind of awkwardly at your feeble attempt at Elvish. And, uh, <laughs> oh, he's a nice man, isn't he? And, He's um, a very nice man. He walks out the throne room. Hannah's eyes don't leave him as he walks away. Oh. Uh, she's. Uh, she explains to you that she couldn't. I, I didn't actually write this. She says, um, "I couldn't sleep last night, so I went for a walk in the gardens, where I, where I stumbled upon the king sitting by the water. We chatted for most of the night and discussed elves and humans, and every and everything we had seen." Stop doing the thrust. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go, go on. on. Eventually, the king offered me something that I cannot refuse. Don't. <gasps> don't. You're just asking for it now. <laughs> the chance to be the first human ever allowed to stay on the Ashen Isle. Wow, okay. What took me so much more past? I took up this offer in hopes that I can, I can come to understand the elves better than any human ever has. Yes. Thank you for bringing me here. You're I know we good. have been through a lot together, but I'm glad to end here. Oh, Hannah, we'll miss you. Indeed, oh, Hannah, we'll you. miss you. Um, no. she, she gives Gideon a parting kiss on the cheek as he giggles. Oh. Um, she gives Lyra a Gideon huge hug and bit. squeezes her as tight as she can. Oh, um, she turns the crumb bug and... Crumb um, bug. Grumbug, yeah. It's covered in it's covered in scones and grumbug. Right? Um, she turns to Grumbug and pats him on the shoulder. Um, she, she Grumbug then, turns around and just picks her up and holds her. She then um, walks out of the throne room back outside. Okay. Bye, Hannah. Well, now we have an ally in the uh, Ashen Isle, which is pretty good. Sure. So, um, yeah, you, you two and Grumbug are left at the dining table. Let's go. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I want to go back to Upton Fields and buy a house. Dude, what do you say, Grumbug? Yeah. What do you say we get back to Upton Fields and hit the drunken donkey? He goes, now that's some drink I could go for. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, no, he likes the water one from the Green Bay, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, we could go there as well. You remember that? You don't, do you? No. <laughs> you don't, do you? I'm sorry. Pub, he, he pub, and it was like salt water ale. No, oh, yeah. no, it's just because people were saying it was bad, and he was like, this isn't bad at all. <laughs> anyway, um, so your group leaves the throne room uh, back outside. Awaiting for you outside are the Pegasus Knights, as well as the Phoenix King himself, um, with Hannah Stubby right beside him. The King approaches you as you walk down the steps. Yeah. It is time for you to leave this place yes. and continue on your quest. My friend shall take you back to the city where you came from. He flies swift and relentlessly. You should be home in no time. What? May the guardians watch over you. What? We get to fly on the Pegasus again? And then he goes... 
and you hear a <laughs> from oh, above the tower. Oh! I'm gone. No, Pegasus is flying you ho! A beautiful golden griffin oh. swoops down from one of the towers and lands beside Terrasalon. Gryffindor! Terrasalon strokes its mane and it, the griffin bows down the to griffin you. The griffin is half eagle, half a lion, right? Eagle at the front, line at the back. That was right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't thinking it was an eagle at the back. That'd be the weirdest thing with a lion's head. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's what happens when you have a birth. That's what happens if you have a birth defect as a griffin. <laughs> <laughs> its wings are on its ass. Yeah. yeah. So, so the griffin lands, kind of. Um, the 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 king strokes its mane and it bows down to you, like. Um, and the king gestures for you to mount it. Yes. Sweet, let's get on this griffin. Okay, as you mount the griffin, your hands sink into its soft fur. It's like beautifully soft. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and you hold onto the fur as tight as you can, and it bounds. Is it able to pick up Grumbug as well? Yeah, Grumbug stands up. This thing's huge. Right, okay, cool. All, all <laughs> three. Like, right, right. So I was, just, I was just trying to make like, sense of how big it was. Gideon's right. at the front holding onto its mane, Lyra's behind it. With her legs wrapped, like arms around Gideon, and Grumbug's on the back, like holding onto the, its like hind legs, not not flying off, hanging off the end. <laughs> <laughs> Grumbug, no night flying. <laughs> so you all, you all hold on for dear life as this thing takes off and takes flight. It's a like never-ending story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you all heavy, buddy. Yeah. Oh, we're going down. Oh. Yes, it's like that. Yes. So the, the the griffin takes off and the Pegasus Knights take off right behind you. The griffin soars upwards, playfully spiralling around all the towers until you're way above the island. Grumbug feels a little sick. Um, <laughs> the six white Pegasus peel off behind you in a kind of flight formation and you fly off over the ocean. <laughs> As you fly away from the island, you begin to see two huge figures approach from behind, glowing brightly. Wait, what's this we see? You're flying away from the island. Yeah. And these two bright white figures start to fly. Oh, woo! As, as they fly closer, you see that each is a bird. Thirty, their wings blazing with golden That's flame. A big bird. They playfully dance around you, and you get this warm glow in your very soul that just makes you feel amazing. You can feel how ancient these, these groups are. Gideon gets an, like a sense that like. All the man- magical energies that he channels, like I like siphon to these creatures. They're like they're the most magnificent thing you've ever seen. Yeah. So they they carry they they uh, they they fly alongside your griffin for a while before peeling off and flying back to the island. And your griffin flies off alone. You fly far back over the seas for several hours. Your griffin sometimes skimming the water at several points just playfully. It seems yeah. like it seems relatively young. Um, after about five hours of flight, you get to the mainland. Oh wow! Below you, you see the Green Coast Bay, with ships docking yeah. in and out. You saw over the grasslands that you walked over where the, the path was. You see a pure thorn forest over in the distance, oh. this huge redwoods standing out of it. Another hour of flight, Upton Fields comes into view. Crap. It's grand grey walls, a circle in the distance, with this huge citadel rising up from the centre. As you get closer, you begin to fly lower and lower and lower. As you approach, uh, uh, sorry, as you approach, you can hear the ringing of bells. Um, ding, wait. ding, dong, wait, wait ding! Um, where is my up and feels thing? As you get closer, you can hear bells going ding, 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 ding. As this griffin swoops down towards the yeah. fields. Do you think it's a dragon or something? It's a, it's a big ass fucking griffin. The griffin swoops down and lands in front of the main gate of the, of the wall. Archers have lined on the roof with oh. their arrows pointed down at you. I'll, I'll, Shortly I'll... after landing, a whole unit of city guards march out of the gate. Halberds drawn and battle ready. Yeah. They they form a circle around you. I'm gonna dismount the griffin. I basically, I basically be like, hold! I am the great Gideon Morningwood. I'm gonna jump down and try and, <laughs> and calm the. Griffin. We mean you no harm. I'm gonna try and calm the bloody griffin down. Cause it's, it's, the griffin's probably just chilling. Just like, what's this for? <laughs> this griffin can take them all out. 
I am Gideon Morningwood, it's okay. fine, there's Griffin's you, with me! You see someone push through the crowd, all these guards seem really on edge. Carob approaches. Oh, hello! Carob, my good man! Stern face with his hat at the ready. He hat? seems... Uh, with, with a staff at the <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hat you! <laughs> with a staff at the ready, he seems threatening at first until he realises that, that it's Gideon, basically. Cause he, hello! He just jumped down, he goes, Gideon! Lyra! What are you thinking riding this close to the city on a griffin? We didn't we do were... it! <laughs> you could have been shot! You have noticed! <laughs> Yes. Oh, Could you please call off your archers? They're making me nervous. Carob turns around to the guard. He goes, "False alarm, everybody! <laughs> go back to your stations. Good job, though. Good job. <laughs> That's a good test. Yes. Um. We're <laughs> gonna do the training exercise. Ev everyone kind of grumbles, and the guards disband. <laughs> yeah, fucking um, Griffin's room. Yeah, you give a grip from the gun. Are you dismounting it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lyra delicately dismounts, uh, uh, stroking its fur, and gives it a cuddle. And um, the griffin kind of like chirps at you. Um, Grumbuck falls off the back of it. <laughs> oh! Um, Carob walks up to Giddy, up to Giddy and goes, <laughs> "Well, you definitely know how to make an entrance." <laughs> That's right. They don't call me a great Giddy in Morningwood for nothing. Ah, oh, well, good to keep Caius's boys on their toes. There he is. There he is. Now, come back to the house and let's get down to business. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's roll. Let's rock and roll. Oh, what, what's the Griffin doing? Is Griffin just gonna fly? Oh, the, the Giffy and turns and Bye. Does Goodbye, it. Griffin! He goes, <laughs> as it flies oh, over. so cute! I want <laughs> one! Buy me one. Go, go! <laughs> you got enough money to buy your own, one. Griffin! I know, yeah. Okay, so, um, you begin to walk back to the upper quarter. A small crowd is gathered by the entrance of Ups and Fields, <laughs> um, all trying to get a look at the Griffin. Um, and they're like, oh, look at that thing. <laughs> Uh, uh, we get fame points for like arriving a, in style there's, like a, there's a few kids running down the street to try and catch up to it and things like that. And their mothers run past them worried. <laughs> yeah, you push past this crowd uh, pretty easily and you start to make your way towards Nature's house. Um, walking, you walk through the commons and um, talk like, because it's one big road if you remember going up to everything. thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, you walk past the slums and the commons pretty unhindered and as you get to the um, Heroes Quarter, there's quite a big crowd in the way. Um, it's the same old Upton Fields, but huge banners have been put across the streets with oh. kind of um, basically cloth sheets coming off them, some blues and reds, some gold, all these oh, different old sheets. Like... Um, there seems to be, uh, you can hear music in the distance. There's this big hum going on. Like, basically, it's like one giant festival. Oh, very good. There's people walking back and forth in crazy costumes. They have bags full of stuff. Um, they're all hustling and bustling out of it's each other. All that lot. The festival. <laughs> um, What's that from? Is that? It's a um, bunch <laughs> Never seen it. Never seen it. Um, as you get to the hero's quarter, Grumbag turns to you and goes, "Well, guys, I don't know about you, but I'm in need of a good strong ale. Uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll be at the inn if you need me. No worries, Grumbag. I'll come join you for a pint later, my friend." Um, he puts a strong, um, like a strong hand on Gideon's shoulder, like a, "I'll see you soon, my friend." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he gives Lyra a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, then, he, and hey! then um, the crowd seems to part like Moses going through the Red Sea as the stench <laughs> walks to the street. Karen, what's going on? Oh, I do love Grumbug. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I need to ask Karen what the hell's going on. Karen! Yeah. So, what, what, what's, what's this festival all about? It's, it, it, is, it is a festival, isn't it? Oh, I can't say it's um, I'll, I'll explain everything in a minute. We should get out of the streets. Okay. I don't remember his voice. That's what I'm doing, though. Uh... Okay, so as you get to the upper quarter, um, it calms down. There aren't, um, there's no crowds because it's all gated off, so there's no crowds. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, where's the upper quarter? Oh, I missed this music. Okay, no, it's good to be home. So you get back to <laughs> you get back to Natured House. Yay! Yeah, you got back to Natured House. We, we survived it. <laughs> we survived. We survived. We survived. Do you want to hug James? Do you want to hug? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> out with the hose. Survivors. <laughs> we didn't die. Well, not much. Yeah, no. We died a few fair times. I died a bit inside. Okay. So you get oh, to the, um, you get to Nature's house. Oh, um, my leg. You walk back, you walk past the cherry bloom flowers and Carob lets you in. Oh thank God. Um, you knew of these. <laughs> Elisa is sat at the fireplace. Oh, um, her, oh, no, on the right hand side. Them. She's reading a book with baby Kaylin asleep in her lap. Oh. Um, he looks a lot bigger than when you were. Kaylin! How did we go? Uh, you're gonna money. Jesus. Yeah, we Baby's going fast, I know they. Yeah. yeah. 
Especially in the first year. Um, Elisa, Elisa shushes you as you walk in, and Karen very, like, can't, like quietly clicks the door closed. Karen smiles at her and goes, Maybe we should do this in my study. Yes. Yes, please. Um, he Not takes you in the study yet. He takes you up to the stairs. Um, he pulls a, a, a fancy looking key out of his sleeves and places it to the door on the right with a big star carved upon it. The Wait. pentagram thing. No, there's, if you remember correctly, there's one on the right hand side with a moon on it, the bedroom. Oh, yeah. There's one on the left with a star on it, and then there's a hatch going up to a kind of pentagram. Thing. Oh, right, okay. Um, it's the one on the left. It's the star one. Okay, so um, the door clicks and opens, and you enter the room. The room is five meters wide and three meters deep, um, full of magical odds and ends. Yeah. Gideon's like, <laughs> there's a huge, heavy oak desk that stands in the center of the room. Um, there's a fancy ch- padded chair behind it with purple padding. Um, the desk is covered in so many pieces of paper and old books that were you to sit at the desk, you wouldn't be able to see over it. <laughs> um, the right hand wall has three large wardrobes, all chained and padlocked. Um, a huge window sits behind the desk, lined with indigo colored curtains. Several staffs are, pro- are propped up against one of the walls next to it. A chest sits in the left, the left, um, to the left of the door, um, and around the chest are several carvings of animals all nailed, nailed around it. Um, Carib, um sits, uh, just leans in against the desk to address you. So, you were gone for a whole month. Tell me what happened. Did you meet the Phoenix King? Yes. Oh, we met the Phoenix King, Dean. He's a very nice man. You should go and meet him sometime. Um, our friend is an ambassador. Yes, we now have an ambassador for the humans upon the Phoenix Isle, the, uh, the Ashen Isle. Thanks to our good work, uh, Sister Hannah has remained there to uh, keep a human presence on the island. If um, any need to for ambassadorial things arise, ah, I can't talk to them. Harmony against the races. It is what Lord Archon would have wanted. Indeed, indeed. But look, look what we got. I'm gonna pull out the bag and tip the piece of the crown on some arm. Yeah. Look, look what we got! Look what we got! Ah, perfect, I see you have it. Yes. And what a cipher. Uh, we kicked his ass a little bit, but that. um, but yeah, he got away. Large, basically. So you, you recount the tale. He yeah? doesn't know Yeah, yeah, yeah. we, we, we recount the tale to him and say that, you know, we, we, we believe he's got like a demon, a demon I'm blade. Certainly not that's tempted like... to join him at all, no. Definitely not. Hmm. It would seem this cipher was greatly weakened in your fight. Yes. But he still had the power to get away. Yes. Worrying indeed. Well, we have the crown piece at least. That would give us two and the Dark Elf only one. Oh, I doubt five. he will... What? Of oh, five. Yeah. Of oh, five. I doubt he will be coming back, back for the ones in my protection. Mm. Especially in his weakened state. And um, he takes the crown from you when yes. you show it to him, by the way. Yeah, that's fine. That's I, I, I was good. Hey, Carib, 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 look what else I got. I'm going to show him a staff of the Omnimental. What do you think of that? He goes. <gasps> um, <laughs> he doesn't comment because he's in the middle of a speech. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> no, I thought you fine. finished. No, it's fine. Sorry. Um, it's only a matter of time until he regains his full strength. Mm-hmm. And we don't know where he is or why he wants the crown at all. Hmm. There is one thing we do know. He is a powerful man and he seems to have powerful allies. It is best we work on finding the final two parts of the crown, as soon as we can. I agree. I've been researching the possible locations of the other pieces of the crown. Oh, yes. For quite some time now, but I just can't find anything oh, well, in the crown. box. One clue, however... Sorry, one clue leads me to another, and that clue leads me back in circles. Uh-huh. Let us just hope that Cypher is having similar problems. Sure. However... I do know of a certain item that we could use to help us find the other pieces. Oh, wait, what is it? Hmm. The Eye of Morkai. Oh, that sounds cool. Morkai was the court wizard of Lord Archon himself in the ancient times. Do you have that knowing look? No, I just know where the word Morkai is from. I don't. Go on. Shh. <laughs> With Archon's death, Morkai's tower mysteriously vanished from the land. There have been rumours that the tower has been sighted in a forest just northeast of Upton Fields. But all who see it say it vanishes before their very eyes. I don't know if these rumours are true, but it would seem that finding the tower and taking the Eye of Morkai would be our best chance of finding the other crown piece. Is it his actual eye? Here, um, take this. It should explain everything. He hands a, um, one, like, one of his notebooks. Like, he tells a handwritten notebook. Thank you. Um, Excellent. He hands that over to you. That book should tell you everything you need to know about the eye. Anyway, your journey has surely been long and difficult. It sounds it. 
Rest here in town for a while and regain your strength. The city has changed somewhat since you left, and uh, so um, so you may wish to restock your supplies. I think oh. that's a good idea. And if you wondered what all the crowds and posters were about, the arena. The uh, arena they've been working on finished last week. Oh. The grand opening tournament is in three days. Uh. Until the city, um, until then, the city will be packed with adventurers and tourists, all eager to see the show. Oh yes, uh, one more thing. As a reward for your services to the city, I've convinced Raskus to allow you permanent accommodation within the commons. And I have personally taken the liberty to furnish the building for you. Sweet! <laughs> Just a little thank you for you saving my son. Welcome Excellent! Back. Cheers, Karen! Here's the key. Help, he hands help, help, um, he hands you a me. key wrapped in a piece of yeah, Larry. He uh, Larry just steps in front of Gideon and grabs it. Uh, it's, a, it's a key wrapped in a piece of paper. Um, anything else you need for your house should be able you should be able to find in the common quarter. Anyway, I'm a very busy man and I have lots to do, so I will see you later. Where's our house? You're, remember you are welcome in Nature House at any time. Thank you. One thing, Karen, I'd just like to show you something before before you go to your business. I found this in the Ashen Isle. Well, what do you think of this? And show him the, the, the man staff. It was like a legendary item, wasn't he it? He takes it and has a look at it and goes, Is this the staff of the Omnimental? It is indeed. And it's mine now. <laughs> and exactly where did you get this? Uh, the, we, we, at the bottom of the ocean. The Ashen Isle sunk. We found it in the archives. Yeah. This is an incredibly powerful staff indeed. I would be very cautious when using it, Gideon. Oh yes, of course. Only in, the, only in dire situations. It's gonna, I'm, I'm, one I'm thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna like, keep that like, on my back yeah. and like have my regular staff out yeah. normally. Um, a yes. long time ago, this staff was carried by the founder of the Arcane Academy. It seems that it has found new hands with you. Oh yes. I will use it wisely. After all, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> and I hope you know the responsibility you hold. Indeed. Kinda. <laughs> no, as I said, I have a lot of work to do, and I must be back to the to yeah. the castle. Um, um, I, I, he says, "You're welcome here." And uh, he ushers you out of the room and locks it behind. Where's him. our house? <laughs> he he handed Lyra a key with a piece of paper. Oh, let me see the paper. I thought it was a cloth. Like no, a cloth. It, it's a piece. It's I'm a it's a piece it. of paper around a key. Oh. And he handed Gideon a notebook. Oh, I thought you said it was a cloth. No, no. no. Okay, what's on the piece of paper? Um, the piece of paper is your address. Excellent, where's my address? 13 Cobble Road, the Common Quarter. Let's go! Excellent. I should have to have that shield golem uh, moved somehow. Oh yes, transported. With your no ring. <laughs> yes, oh, yes, yeah, yes with my no ring that burnt. Um, yeah, so you- I've still got no shoes. <laughs> you leave the house. <laughs> oh um, yeah! We'll go, we'll go, let's go to our new, our new, our, 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 new, our new house. I'm so excited to It'll be like mid after, like late afternoon. Um, it's 2 p.m. We have a house. It's 2 p.m. Yeah, let's go to our house. You going to the house? Yeah. Okay, so, um. Did I find music? No, I didn't. Um, up to the interior. Okay, so the common quarter is. It's quite cramped, but it's um, still pleasant. The streets are very narrow. Um, they're obviously the hero's quarter is designed for carts to go down and things to get back into. This, you could get a horse down, but you wouldn't get a cart. Down. Right, okay. Um, the streets are cobblestone. The buildings are a mixture of stone bases with wood, um, like second uh, second floors. And they all have thatched roofs. Um, on your way to your house, you pass um, a butcher's, a bathhouse, and several other buildings that you would design for everyday life, basically. Butcher, a baker, a Anything you need baker. for everyday life, you'll, you'll pretty much find in the commons. I'm just imagining, like, the hunchback of Notre Dame. Your house is modest from the outside. A single wooden door set into a stone wall, flanked by two um, arched windows. Um, another single window sits above the front door in some wooden cladding on the second floor. The iron key fits perfectly in the keyhole and it clicks open. The door opens into a single room, obviously designed for living in. Five meters square. Um, you're trying to work out how big five meters square is. No, 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 I'm just, I'm, I'm doing a floor plan of the house. So is, the, is it just straight room after yeah, the door? Yeah, it's one room, five meters square. So You're just gonna draw it. I, I just want a floor walk. plan of it. A fireplace sits on, oh, sorry. Yeah, it's five meters square with a wooden staircase in the back right hand corner. A fireplace sits on the left of, on the, uh, sits on the wall to your left um, with a cooking pot 
hanging over the fireplace and cupboards on either side holding for storing food and yeah, other nice. things that you would be cooking. Um, two rocking chairs sit in front of the fireplace on a on a, um, a, a, a green rug. An empty bookshelf sits on the right hand side wall. Um, um, a painting on either side of it, um, oil on canvas depicting Upton Fields looking very regal. A wooden bench also sits along, along the wall um, with a fur throw over it. Um, in the centre of the room there is a large oval table with four chairs sat around it. Um, Sorry, this is right in front of the door then? No. no. You said a door straight into the room. No, right, that's it, yeah. <laughs> the pen's brewing out, dude. It's right. fucked. This is the... Oh, fucking hell, we need a pen. <laughs> We don't need a pen, it's fine, we'll do it later on. I didn't give you one before. Right, room, fireplace, staircase, bookshelf, table. <laughs> there you go. So where's the door? Here. Yeah. Right, okay, I was just doing it way okay. too small. <laughs> um, and that's everything that's in, in the in the lower floor. Okay. Is there no like no ba like a basement or anything like that? No. 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 It's, cool. it's a very common looking house. Especially home music. Got a house for free. I know, yeah. Great. Yeah. You're gonna go up the stairs. <laughs> You're gonna go up the Great. stairs. Let's just yes. see what it has. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> you go up the stairs to find a small landing, um, ending with two doors. Each one has a piece of paper on it. One says Gideon. One says Lyra. Oh, yeah. right. Okay. I want to go in. Let's go to Lyra's let's go, first. Yeah, go on. Then let's go to my room. Okay. Let's have a nosy. Let's have a nosy. Tiny, good, creepy faces. Uh, Lyra's bedroom is the one at the back of the house. Um, oh, yeah. She has a window look, yeah. overlooking a very plain back alley. Um, Just like my house. There is a bed in the right hand corner of the room uh, with cloth sheets and feathered pillows. Ooh. A chest sits by the base of the bed. A wardrobe fills the left hand corner um, with a smaller set of drawers behind it. Atop the drawers is a vase full of cherry boom flowers, oh. obviously from Natured House. <laughs> On the right hand side of the wall sits a padded chair with a large weapons rack uh, next to it. For her to put whatever she wants on. Wonderful. Um, um, the room is lit by candles. That's pretty. That's your room. Excellent. Is that a bathroom or anything? Nope. Um, uh, in old houses, you didn't have a bathroom. You have a bath house. Oh uh, right. Okay. Cool. Oh right. Okay. Did, really? Yeah. I thought they had like, at least had an outhouse. You'd have one at the bottom of the house. The bottom of the street. It'd be all toilet, like public toilets. Yeah, you just go to a public shower houses. Oh, so there would just be like a like a like that's a latrine big... kicking about yeah, somewhere in the street. Go, like, yeah, at the end of the street, there's just a big. Oh right, house. okay. I'm gonna have to invent a toilet then. No. <laughs> <laughs> <We're very laughs> they did. They did, <laughs> have, they did have chamber pops as well. Oh, it's if, have, yeah, yeah. Have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, tap a wee. Yeah, yeah. Instead of having to go right down to the toilet. So, get in. Want to see your room? Fuck it. Let's go in. Okay. Gideon's room has a simple cloth wooden. Oh wait, where are you? Yeah, Gideon's room has a simple cloth, cloth um, covered wooden bed. Um, there's a window overlooking the street, so basically the, your window is right above the front door. Right. Okay. Um, a chest sits in the corner next to a small wooden desk and chair, so you have your own desk. A bookshelf sits on the opposite wall with a um, a weapons rack next to it. It's like a, um, a uh, gun rack, so you can put three, like a, like a staff three rack. staffs on it. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, enough room to place three staffs. Um, at the foot of your bed, against the wall, there's a big wardrobe. And that's your room. Can I, is there, I think everything's going to be empty, like a wardrobe. Yeah, everything's empty. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just, basically, you have a desk, a wardrobe, a weapons rack, and a bed. Do you have like a chest or anything? Oh, yeah, you have a chest. Oh, okay. You have a chest, a and desk, the bed. Oh, right, a okay. wardrobe, and um, a weapons rack. A weapons rack, and. Um, and um, basically, she has more storage stuff than you have a desk. Oh, I've got a bookshelf as well. Yeah. What books do I actually have on me? No. And that is everything in your house. Did they all get. No, they didn't all burn. Yeah. I've got three books. No, I've got. Are. You, you have whatever's well, on your character sheet. I've made very sure that they're accurate. It's like it'll be on the third. Did we leave anything at Nature's House before we went to. Um, yeah, we've got clothes. A woolly jumper, a fur coat, all that. Oh, yeah. That's got to be nice. No, nope, got nothing. I <laughs> didn't think so. I thought they would. Phoenix versus books. Huh. Uh, Phoenix, maybe. Just a smidge. <laughs> there was a chance they wouldn't have burned. Oh, yeah, We've learned a new right. rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, phoenix. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> Destroys everything. Got in flame. Can only use it once your ethereal potions will not. Right, okay, so. Sweet, so we got we got a house. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. so happy. So, what time are we on? 
um, 50 minutes, so we can end that there if you want. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll end that there and then um, we'll get back into it after, when we decide to. Well, I need some new shoes and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I need to sell. Well, guys, uh, thank you very much for listening. It's not been very action packed, but it's been a very, very pleasant episode. Nice and easy to nice. ease us back into it. Yeah, yeah. Well done, Pidge. Well done. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel like we can we, we, we say, say well done and thank you enough, actually, Pidge. Yeah. So yeah. let it be known in the digital recording medium world of YouTube. I'm pretty sure thank this you, is like Pidge. The 50th episode as well. Why? Yeah. Why? What, what, what is this? Um. Oh Jesus Christ. Um. <laughs> story so far. The story so far. 47. Oh, 47, so nearly <laughs> close to episode 50. That is a crazy amount of vi videos. 2.2 that... days. 2.2 days so far. 2.2 wow. days. Anyway, guys, so thank you very much for listening, and we will see you guys. Oh, yeah, we'll see you guys again next time. And Yay. Mr. James might have something today. I know, Woo! he might. Oh, yeah, Bevan, you We'll see you later, guys. Goodbye, friends. Oh, just before we oh, go. Oh, oh, wait. Are oh. you going to sleep at your house? Or you just, well, we've already are you up. ending the day? Or? Well, it's, no, 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 it's been, been six or seven hours since then. Since you woke up. Yeah, it's, it's, one, okay. one, it's one in the afternoon, though, isn't it? No, it's three in the afternoon now. Three in the afternoon. It was afternoon. two when you got there. It's three. No, oh, right, okay. No, no, okay. Anyway, goodbye, friends. Bye. <laughs> goodbye, friends. Bye. Bye. Bye.